Zane, first of all, how are you feeling? Yeah, mate, uh, I'm feeling good, you know, so far and, um, you know, quite, uh, and, you know, good spirits at the moment. Um, it's been a few weeks now, so um, the boys have been, you know, real well and, um, you know, the staff and that. So the club's been good, mate, uh, helping me through it. Uh, obviously, my family back home, uh, my missus and my kids. Uh, yeah, good. Talk us through the incident itself. How much do you, do you remember of, of what happened? Yeah, I, you know, look, I remember quite, you know, everything. Uh, how it all started, I think I was the, you know, I was the first one out in the field and, you know, had a spring in my step, you know, ready to crack on with my session and then I was just pretty much just in uh, my uh, warm-up period where I just started slurring my words. I missed about like three plays within a drill, just basic drills, like 3v2. And I remember just uh, speaking to a teammate of mine and uh, just the response that I was, like, the response that I was getting, you know, just slurring my words and then I just couldn't feel the, you know, my tongue, my mouth and then I think that's when everything started, you know, the episode kicking in, you know, I was kicking the ground and stuff like that, like just standing up and then obviously having the, the, spa, uh, the uh, medical staff there and obviously our, our, um, our staff as well, you know, there to, you know, be full on hands and knowing what was going on. But um, yeah, then obviously the ambulance and that came, so it was quite a fast period, but at the same time, safe period as well. So I'd like to say thanks to everyone at the club for so having When you reflect on it, it must be a scary experience as well for yourself. Yeah, you know, look, uh, it was, yeah, it was a scary episode. I think you just, you don't know what was going on until you just realise you get told you've had a stroke and uh, you just, you know, I guess everyone knows me around here that I'm a quite active person or I like my training is that so it's kind of a bit of a shock. It was kind of like you know that unreal feeling like no, nah, I can't, I can't be in this position. Um, but other than that, you know, I've come out on the right right side, and you know, LGI and all the nurses and that got you know the the medicines that I need from pretty much the get go. So um, recovery was quite quick, and you know, you know, God bless to be here for another you know another period, or you know, to be able to even just move my limbs and that for you know. There's a few guys that you know I shared a, shared a ward with, and and um, you know it just it was a, it was a weird like not a weird one, but it was a hard one to even just ask the question of, you know, like how did your story, or, you know, how did your episode start for you? And then um, I would have mentioned their names, but you know I got close to one of them in my room, so it was actually quite nice. So like once I got out of um, when I got discharged, got him a rhino's jersey, and then um, ended up going back to see him the next day. So. Um, you know, just to hear him to know, you know, not have his feeling back for the last five weeks and not, you know, having his family there that come in, you know, to support him. It's kind of like a sad story and then, you know, hearing him that he might lose his job and he's been working on the, the rails for the last 43 years. Um, you know, just seeing the sadness in his face was kind of, you know, a bit of an emotional part, so. Small gift that I could give to him just to lift his spirits. And in terms of yourself, you had a nervous wait then to find out from the cardiologist what, what caused it, but you are able to have surgery that, that will, will correct the issue in your heart? Yeah, so um, obviously we get uh, medically um, checked every, you know, every year. I try to get mine checked quite often. Um, yeah, so obviously they've done the eco test. I think it's called an eco bubble. Told me to sneeze, cough or breathe. And then obviously with the bubbles that are going through my veins, that's how they found the hole in my heart. Um, I think it's quite common to have a hole in your heart, I, I don't know, but um, yeah, free breath, so yeah. That must have been a relief to know that the surgery could resolve the issue pretty quickly. Yeah, in, like, in like it might sound it might sound a bit weird, but you know, obviously I had a stroke, but to find that kind of answer, I was kind of hoping that I've had something wrong, like as a hole in your heart, just to kind of go, okay, uh, let's, let, let's fix that thing. Um, you know, I just... I was yeah, kind of like fingers crossed. At the same time, I was actually nervous, going, "Nah, this can't be." But then again, I was just like, "Oh, good, good news," you know. Um, you know, having the club there to help me out, and um, and then yeah, just keep trying to, you know, the quicker I get surgery done, the better, I guess, for me personally, and you know, for my health and safety, for my health, and then, you know, I can think about forty later. But I think first and foremost is just about, you know getting myself able and fit enough to be, you know, good, good man, good father. To, to my family and to my loved ones. You mentioned being able to train again. Uh, training is a big part of what you're, you're first on the field, you're last off uh, most training sessions. Has that been hard to, to, to train within that zone to look after yourself? Uh, yeah, it's, I'll always find a way, mate. I always find a way, you know, 
don't try and push the barriers too far, but you know, obviously you ask for advice off your doctors and that to see how far I can be, you know, how far I can go with, you know, the heart rate, <laughs> what do you call it, the heart rates and stuff like that. So trying to stick around the old zone two, zone three area, where which, you know, is enough to, uh, you know, to keep the fitness up or to keep whatever's going, you know, keeping the heart going and, um, and then obviously it's just the mental side of things as well, because, you know, obviously exercise is good for you as well, so mentally, so, yeah. And talk about the, the mental well-being, you're able to take part in the Leeds 10k and raise money for, for a fantastic cause as well, that must give you, give you a boost. Yeah, um, you know, like I think it was a couple of days ago, we were just running around the, the canals and and then I think Coach or Rich Hunswick, you know, brought it up and then I thought, you know, I'm going to jump, I'm pretty keen to jump straight on it, you know, like raising, you know, raising funds for, you know, the Children's Health, uh, Heart Foundation is something that you know, it's quite deep into, you know, it has a deep place in my, you know, in my heart, you know. I've got kids of my own and to know that, you know, kids have gone through that at a young age and their families, mums and dads, you know, having to deal with that is quite um, emotional, emotional feeling. And, you know, God bless for everyone, but like, yeah, it must be tough. I've had my dad, you know, he's passed away at the age of 41 with three, uh, three bypass heart surgeries. So that's kind of where I'm at, where, you know, something that I can do. Um, for you know our families, kids, uh, you know just just a little thing that I can do to uh, you know make it from my episode to you know help raise funds for the young ones and um, and families. And you big or small, so you were here the other week uh, with, for, for the the these Rob Burrow Marathon. You saw the outpouring support. <coughs> it was that It'd be great on Sunday to see see the Leeds public out again, supporting everyone who's raising so much money for, for great causes. Yeah, exactly that, mate. Um, you know, there's something about, something great about Leeds, you know, how everyone comes together as a community to, you know, help raise funds for every awareness that's going on, and um, especially for this, you know, for the Children's Heart Foundation or the Leeds Foundation as well, so it's pretty good.